Hi, Cole here from Storytelling with Data. Today, I want to demonstrate a simple and powerful strategy. Show people where you want them to look when communicating visually. Let's kick things off with a tip that I have shared on this channel previously. Before presenting a graph or slide, practice talking through it out loud. You don't want the real deal, the final meeting or presentation, be the first time that you do so. There are a couple benefits to this. First off, the simple practice of talking through your work aloud can help you find the words and phrases and transitions that are going to help you do so eloquently. Secondly, once we know what we want to say, there are almost always tweaks we can make to our content so that it will better support us. Let's take a look at an example. Here's a graph that I want to present. I'm actually going to switch views so I can draw on it as I talk. If I were going to speak through this to an audience, I would start by explaining what we're looking at here. This is actually some data from a taste test. Here we're looking at liking for individual ingredients. We asked our participants to rate that on a nine-point hedonic scale, ranging from dislike extremely at the left to like extremely at the right. And actually, now that I talk through it this way, I recognize I may not even want to show the data at the onset. I can just show the bones, the skeleton of the graphs so that my audience can't jump in and start directing their own takeaways. Instead, I want to do that for them. Once we do add the data on there, I'll start by discussing macadamia nuts. Those scored highest on the liking scale. They are one of the most important ingredients in the current mix. We can talk about that, set some context. Next, I want to direct people's attention to the bottom of the scale and hazelnuts that scored the lowest. I'll lend some commentary there. And finally, I'll touch on an unexpected finding, which is how much people like coconut. Now that I know the specific points I want to hit, I can focus attention sparingly to make it clear to my audience where they should look. Key here is either limiting what I show my audience so that they can't look at anything else or employing contrast, making it very clear where they should devote their attention as I'm speaking. And this not only is helpful for my audience, but it also helps me as the presenter to stay on track. Let's take a look back at that example and see what this could look like. We asked our participant taste testers a simple question. How much do you like the given ingredient? They were asked to assess using a nine-point hedonic scale, ranging from dislike extremely at the left to like extremely at the right. You can also see the various components that we assessed there going down the left-hand side. Add the data. Note that there is variance across ingredients when it comes to how much people like each. I'll direct your attention first to the top, to those macadamia nuts. There is magic in them. And we knew that. They're a key ingredient in the current trail mix. On the other end of the spectrum, however, people really dislike hazelnuts. And actually, that middle-of-the-road average is misleading. It turns out hazelnuts are polarizing. People either really like or strongly dislike them. This was driving the issues we were seeing with alternative B of the trail mix recipes. We don't think hazelnuts are going to be a good replacement for the macadamia nuts. We also learned something new with this view, which is that people very much like coconut. In the same way that we saw apricot throw things out of balance in alternative A, the addition of coconut actually makes everything else work together even better than it did before. This has been a quick example of how you can show people where to look when communicating visually making materials that support our spoken words.
If you found this tip useful, please let me know in the comments below. I'll also be super curious if you have any questions about presenting generally or presenting data specifically that we might address here in future episodes. So leave a comment below. I'll close by sharing a couple related resources. You can see how this progression gets weaved into a broader narrative in the video, the final presentation. Click the link that just appeared and the URL is also in the description below. You can practice employing the tips that I've shared here in the online storytelling with data community exercise, color and words. Click the link that just appeared or follow the URL in the description below. I also encourage you to check out my new book, Storytelling With You, which is packed with strategies for presenting powerfully. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.